Good morning. Uh, I'm going to show you now how to make uh, this uh, tumbler composter. Uh, so uh, in part one, uh, I will uh, make the tumbler itself, and then part two, the frame. Okay, for this project, you'll need some two by four, one barrel. This is for the non-motorized and the motorized version, the solar version. Uh, I'm thinking coffee needed. <laughs> two bolts. Uh, two three inch hinges, stainless, stainless rod. Uh, these are, I couldn't get these in stainless. I didn't want to expend the money. And my friend, uh, the Flying Dutchman, made me up two blo uh, blocks with of nylon. He says nylon is better than bearing for outside. It never wears down. It swells a little bit, so we let it a bit smaller. Uh, so first and foremost, we're going. The first thing we do is we're going. I need a. I need about three foot of uh, two uh, four inch pipe four inch PVC pipe and we're going to cut that in half for the flaps so uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is set that out so you decide what size you're going to uh, you're going to make this barrel is second hand uh, it's thoroughly washed on the outside when, when you when you do decide to do this make make sure that you uh, that you clean the inside of it because there could, be, could have been oil or something like that in it before. So the barrel is basically three foot, so 930. Uh, so we'll find the center. Now the center line is here, see the barrel here, and this is the line this way. So we can go according to that. Uh, you have to decide how, what size you want the flap. Now I'm thinking of making the flap about uh, maybe, maybe. 16 inches, 400 millimeters. Okay, so we'll make it 400 millimeters. And what way are we going to make it this way? Yeah, well, we're going in the arc. So we'll probably go 300 millimeters in the arc. Okay, I hate these blister packs. I think they're really bad on the environment and everything. This plastic here we're going to show here, we'll go into our recycling. But for something that costs less than $2.99, less than two dollars to stainless steel uh, I'm not using these screws as you can see uh, we're going to put a bolt but you can't use the screw the stainless steel put them in my pocket and I'll put them back up in my workshop in about 40 millimeter I think maybe 50 40 40 should be fine uh, we can always put another hinge on the middle afterwards but these ones the reason we're drilling these ones first is we're not going to fit them we're going to okay in there is no don't smell don't smell of any oil but we're going to clean the inside of it anyway so uh inside of it uh rex to help clean it there uh, these ones on the end, we will seal these off with probably, ah, oh, we don't have to seal them off. It's not going to be a seal. It should smell of nothing. No smell of detergent, nothing. So, uh, now we're going to put the door on. Uh, more coffee. And we have four inch pipe here. I ran out of it, so I got my friend to give me some there. So, you can put the hinges on the door first side remember that's the way we done them so we'll put a washer these are the stainless steel sizes all I have I don't have flat uh, probably put this one in like this we cut them off afterwards anyway this screw fits this hole perfectly no we won't put a washer on this side we'll put a washer on the plastic side of course yeah and Oh, that sits nice and neatly and we have washers here for this side we cut these off with the angle grinder later these are what yeah uh, these are four millimeter screws I think and yeah, the number fours uh, and we drilled the hole four and a half and drop one there
and we'll put these two hinges we'll put these two hinges on like this uh, just uh, mr. Allen key on the other side the Allen key in here Don't tighten it fully yet. It's the number seven. So we'll do all that up uh, on here first before we hang this. Uh, put them at, that's wrong, 75, three inches, the center of the bolt. Mm. Oh, these are 75. I might upgrade these after another while. But they're, they're cheap <laughs> and uh, trying to keep the budget a little bit low the wife you know, the wife we all have the wife so we're, uh, the same stainless steels will fit in these just about so we're going to mark these now so we'll just drill these out and then I'll get back to you so we just put the bolts on the same as like last time and we do both sides and uh, then we'll start uh, we start back on. So just put, put one washer on the inside because of the plastic. Uh, these are a bit tight inside in this, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. The rest of the screws in then. We can always sand off the side of this a little bit if, it's, if it continues to. Mm. Now we have them in, now we have our door. Our door done. Mm, maybe a bit of adjustment. Uh, our door is closing. Fine. Uh, we're going to take a little bit off there. Here, and we'll turn it with the right hand this way, while the left hand person will turn it this way. They will turn it that way. Maybe I don't know. But anyway, we're going to put a motor on it. So, so we have to consider. So this is going to be our end for our turning and our uh, motor if we do the solar version of it. So. Uh, this, this end, so the flaps are going to go, I'll just get a marker here, mm. I, see the, I see the lid off, so what, I, what I'm trying to say is we've got 4 inch, uh, yeah it's exactly 4 inch, it's not 120, so this is going this way, so the flap, the flap inside will be going this way, take up half circles from the 4 inch pipe and it's going to go from here to here, inside, from one end to the other, uh, the half circle it'll be bolted in through here so the half circle I marked I marked it correct the first time this is correct it's going to be this way this is going to turn clockwise okay so this will be bolted here well that marker don't work anyway so rather than go back up to the workshop and get another saw and do it uh, where it's all dust I'm just going to drill it here and use the jigsaw to cut it this way uh, That. New jigsaw should be good. Make sure it's in before you start. Nice and slow. You have, a, you have a multiple speed one. Yeah, that's not bad. Hey, that's very straight. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my straight edge. Where was the straight edge? Okay. Now preferably, I'm only going to show you what to do, then I'm going to get someone to hold this for me, okay? So I'm going to cut down along here. And I'm going to cut while someone's holding, the one that's holding the camera, so when it's finished. Another little bit. So we get it in there. Now what I'm going to do then is I'm going to try and get a straight line along here and uh, can you see inside there? Right, so you know what we're doing wrong now? We have it facing the wrong way. We have it facing this way, okay? Because this way we're going to be lifting the stuff up on this side. So now the next thing I have to do, I think what I'm going to do, how am I going to mark the end? It's going to be more difficult to get the inside of it inside. 
I have a line across. Now I drill these uh, four pieces uh, holes. I'm going to push it in then. I'm going to straighten it with my eye. Um, well, I'm going to drill one hole on um, one end and then straighten it with my eye. Uh, I have a fairly good eye. Uh, if you don't, uh, find an alternative way of getting it. And then when I get this one, I'll get a line straight across on the inside for the bottom one. Okay, put it back the other way for the second. This one is in. Uh, this one is because the door is on the wrong side. I got mixed up there. So you need a, you need someone to help you with this. The wife will even be able to hold the nut on the far side. You can see in here. We put one in here. Somewhere there you'll see it. And if you can't, it's there. Uh, now we've come to the point that we, we have the inside all done. We have tidying up to do with screws and that. Now you have to decide if you're going to go ahead with a solid axle like I have here, stainless steel, that you can drive it by solar. Uh, you would that's what I would do uh, now I would uh, drill for that and put plates on it and then uh, attach the stainless steel to the plate in by either TIG weld or epoxy or whatever but if you're going to use just for a normal tumbling one uh, I would just put a plastic pipe in there and make up an A-frame and turn it and that's it basically if, if that's the way you're going to go the simple way uh, then uh, you're almost finished <laughs> you just have to make up a frame whereas uh, the going my way now there's a quite a, a little bit more work anyway but I'm going to make this one as a manual and then convert it into electric then after or uh, sorry solar powered afterwards the Dutchman made the flying Dutchman John made for me to, to screw onto the, this so that, and then we put a TIG weld into the into the other uh, into the into the rod uh, shaft uh, I'm going to drill this one, it doesn't matter if this is a bit big or not. I'm going to try a fastener bit in it on slow speed. They're really not meant for plastic, but anyway. We're through. So I'll do the other one on the other end the same. Now, for those who are wondering what we're actually really doing here, uh, I'll just make it really simple here, for, explain to you what we're going to do so that we can use a drive shaft on it. Uh, this plate here is going to be scru uh, screwed onto the drum and one on the other end, I don't have it yet. Then there will be a spacer between here and there, or, and a washer, and then there'll be another one on this side. And this will be sunk into the wood, I think I'll screw the bottom half of this into the wood or maybe not or and have this upside down and maybe like this and that's sunk into the wood and screwed fixed to the a-frame that is and then we have drive shaft here For the reason i need another plate on this end because this is attached to nothing this is touching off the off the plastic and that's not going to work out you see that yeah so now you see the idea this is bolted up to this make another plate on the other end just put a little uh, little weld here with the tig welder and on both ends and that means this bar is attached to this drum with plenty of torque and then this one will have a winding handle on it or we will take the winding handle off then we're going to put a pulley on it and a little motor and we'll have a solar panel running it that's the idea but anyway at this stage we're making it so that we can do that whether we do or not this actually can go back in a bit uh, the next job i'm going to do is i'm going to make the a-frame uh, we're after spending at this stage. Um, we're after spending nearly two hours doing this. Uh, I have I have some assistance, but he's mostly using the camera. Uh, but uh, we'll uh, uh, for holding the nuts and things like that. Uh, even uh, even your small child will be able to do it for you. So make sure you vacuum up all the plastic shavings and make sure that they're disposed of uh, because there's not very much, but there's still there is still some like this. Look. So make sure you gather all that up and um, put it in the recycling plastic. And uh, so I go and get another plate made up and then I'll come back to you now. There's my two by four. It's treated wood from New Zealand. Uh, it's pine. Uh, you buy this in the US, I know everywhere because I have a friend from there and it's cheap. Uh, it's about $2 per board foot or less, maybe $1.5. 150 per board foot uh, so I have two 10 foots there I didn't make out how much I need and what height I'm going to make this yet but I wanted a little bit higher because we have dogs okay so and I don't want them to mess around with it especially if it starts moving in the middle of the night 
Okay, the Dutchman's after welding. It's difficult to weld because the bar is so. The bar is uh, 16 millimeter, and for it to heat up enough for the TIG welding, but it's done. Now I'm going to put uh, down on the other end because it's not in. It's not. It's not really doing anything here. What I'm going to do, so that we can take this off if we ever want to take it off, this the, the drive shaft. I'm just going to put silicone in there so it won't be rubbing off it like that. It's not turning, right? It's not going to be turning because it's going to be fixed. So just to seal it and to stop it shaking or whatever, we'll do that. Uh, the pins, I'm going to put two pins, not on this end, on the other end because that's the driving end. Uh, and that's to stop it swaying from left to right, okay? Now you can buy these, uh, these little nylon washers or you can make your own. Uh, mine is the wrong size, so... Uh, now don't do it the way I'm doing it. I'm going to do it in my hand because I'm uh, I'm used to uh, using a gel. Nice and slowly, and then that's 14, 16. Now that should fit on here. It's on perfect, and then this is going on. And remember, this is going to be going this way. This is going to be sunk into the wood, and the bottom part will be screwed to the wood. And the other nylon one, one which I cut earlier. Uh, now I'm going to put this on here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a pin here and a pin here. That will stop the whole thing going back. We have our A-frame here, A-frame here, which is joined together. And this one will be running free. Uh, this is attached to the barrel. So this is going to be difficult to drill. So if you don't have a bench drill, <laughs> I don't know what to say if you don't have a bench drill, you could put a clamp on it on either side. So now we have, uh, as you see here, we have our stops on each side. We put the washer over against it like this. And uh, this will be sitting on top of whatever stand you want to make. I'm going to make a wooden A-frame stand. So this turns around. I'm going to put it up on a chair for you to see in a minute. You saw all our hinges working there. Fine, a little bit of a bend there. We might make a modification. This will be just free there because uh, the, the, the A-frame will be attached on both ends. To one end, um, each one will be attached. So they will be supported from going in and out. So uh, I'll put some silicone in there so that this won't just go up and down like that. Other than that, there's no, it's not turning in it. So we'll put it up on on two chairs and see what it looks like. It looks of course, some of you might have noticed <laughs> the second time was the right right way to do it. The scoop needs to come up. So when we're coming clockwise from this side down here, it should have been where this hatched one is here. It needs to be this way, see? So, uh, this is where I done it first, that's where I corrected myself, and then I went away from it and I came back again. So this is the correct one. And as you can see inside in the barrel, this one is going to lift up all the stuff and tumble over and drop it all down. Uh, so now I've just put it up onto two chairs to the, before we make up the stand. Uh, you could make a little small stand that size if you wanted to. Uh, or you can make it stand up higher so it won't be hurting your back. Now I have dogs and they're out all night and three golden retrievers and another dog. I changed the bolts to the side. It's keeping this more even. Uh, so in case it would open during spinning when it's when it's in auto uh, from the thing. Lovely and smooth it runs. Now the next thing we're making this is the stand so that's finished. This is car two. Uh, we'd have to determine what length, so we have plenty of clearance there, maybe one, uh, one and a half inches. We can let another little bit here. The reason I'm putting it on this plywood is we're going to measure it. We're going to measure the plywood, we're going to lift this up clean. So I'm going to mark the end of the block here. I'm going to measure the end of the block here. That's going to be the length of our, because we're using two by two that way. And that would be our measurement. So we're going to lift it up clean here. 
left. And then we can get a measurement. Now, that's a hundred one point one one zero. One point one one. One point one one zero. So one 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 zero. One meter ten or one hundred and eleven centimeters if you're a dressmaker. Carpentry millimeters. One 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 zero. Okay, and now we're going to go down to the workshop. And we keep that in mind. Okay. Okay, and just going to measure them here. One one zero, oh. and I'll uh, put it on the saw here. I'll put two of them. Breaks it on the holders here. And you can cut them all way you like. You don't need it. It's going to be too noisy anyway. Vacuum on. Two pieces made. Uh, uh, these are going to be the braces going to go. Now we're going to make the A frame. Uh, we're going to divide up this one, so we're going to get about seven hundred and fifty millimeters. So it'll be there, and that means the top of the tank will be about here. So just cut this in half, and then cut it in half again. And it's three meters and twenty. It's ten foot. So they're going to be two foot six high each. So most of you won't want to do the geometry or anything like this. This is square here, this table. So I'm putting this down here where they're meeting there. So this is the position they're in, and then we're going to cut this one here. You can do the geometry on it if you like, but. Best off for me, I think, is just to uh, determine how much you want. Okay, so I'm going to go, so I'm going to take the measurement from here because that's level with there. And that's going to be my, my number then. So for our block that's going across goes on top of this, but I'm thinking we're going to put something else on top of it as well. So we have 35, yeah, something like that. So I'm going to measure 70 there. I'm going to make one of them is going to be templates, okay? So then, 317. Ooh, more light. A bit dull today. Today is my daughter's birthday. <laughs> her birthday party. Her birthday is four years old. So happy birthday, Kira. She's a keen gardener, so she, uh, she don't know what compost is for. So what I'm going to do is that's going to be the template for, for the first one. So let's double check. Mm -hmm. So on this, that's going to be template. We're going to use that to mark. Okay. Now I've got my two A's together, uh, now how are you going to fix them? Uh, the best way to fix them, I don't think I'll put anything on the bottom, I'll put a brace here and a brace there. Uh, so I'll just uh, I'll to use the same kind of wood and not cut into it. Uh, for the ones going the other way I'm going to uh, cut in because I want to stop it going uh, swaying that way so it'll act as a brace. The two long ones we cut, they're down there. So uh, we'll just... Uh, We'll cut these out first before we put the thing together. I'll cut them out with the saw. I'm measuring down 500 from here uh, on all of them, and then the thickness of the one going in is in here is going to be uh, 190 millimeters exactly is what the wood is finished. So, oh. <laughs> normally I'd go in half the thickness of whatever I'm putting in. You couldn't go in the whole way, but you're going to weaken this then. So. I'm going to go in halfway, I think. Now I've marked them all down 500 and I've, uh, uh, I've added 190, so we're going to cut a trench out with this here. Now I don't have that blade, so I'm going over and back a lot further. Now the depth I'm going is determined by the height of the blade. Now this is an outdoor thing. I'm not going to be putting glue on this because of the weathering. Normally if I make up something, uh, I'll be using tight bond or something like that. So I'm going to go down about that much. I think when I... Mm. 
you know, we'll come up with another little bit. Uh, I'm going to come up about 20, 22 or 3 millimeters. So, that's Moy, you're bringing me coffee. Coffee! Mm. Okay, coffee. Coffee time. In case you're not following me, this goes in here, like so, and that stops the twisting. The screw's going in here, okay? Just in case you're not wondering what I'm doing, there'll be four of them. That's why we have four of them. And next thing we're going to do is join these two together. We didn't join them because I was doing that to them, so we're going to join them now. Out of the two ten foot of wood, that's all I've left. Nothing more. Now, I'm going to I'm going to put a dowel in just to stop it twisting. I think I'm going to. I don't know if I'm going to use all of that. It's very heavy. But later on, the, the thing is, later on we're going to be. We already know later on what we're going to be, we're going to be putting the solar on this. So, hmm, I'm not so sure. Anyway, next job is, uh, we'll put some dowels in here anyway, uh, but I really want to have the piece, I might split this, yeah, I'll split this on the, on the saw, and I'm going to put a cross here, but uh, I'm going to put one there and one there, uh, I'm going to put dowel in them as well to stop them twisting a little bit. I have this jig here, look. more than half the length of this. No, I'm not I'm not long enough. Stop the game. Start. Glue. Okay, I'm just going to put the glue in the joints and that's about it. Uh, no need for glue really. I made up the plates here, look, just from the stuff. Okay. We can put another one on afterwards. Probably need a hammer to bang these in. They're a bit moist. Normally I put them in the oven. Before. Where's my small? Okay, it's lumped in okay. Now I'm going to just put the plate on the front of it. Uh, these are stainless. Should be no problem to go into. I have a line there that I squared it off. Okay, I trimmed them off now, and that's what they look like, both of them, legs. Now I'm putting in the braces, so, uh, oh, this looks a bit tight. That's okay, I don't mind them being a bit, a bit tight. Uh, these are not going to have glue in them, there's no need. Most of them are very tight. We want them tight for, the reason we want them tight is because it stops this, not, there's no give that way now, that's acting as a brace. We don't no need to put a brace on it. So. I'm just going to screw these up now and then I'll get back to you. I've countersinked these in nearly uh, about 20 something millimeters because first of all I don't have longer stainless steel. They're stronger when they're gone in there. I'll put a little plug in them later. later, later. Okay. So uh, I'm not putting a, I'm not putting a piece here on top of that uh, left over. I'm going to put one there as well. Now we've got our nylon pieces, these two pieces, no. and uh, taking one off and I'm making sure because it's on the bottom, we drill a hole here to, to take it. Uh, so I'm just going to put a little countersink on it for these. I'm going to put these screws in it.
I'll just do the same on the other side and then I'll get back to you. And this one goes on one way. See how slippery it flows. Make a temporary handle for it. Uh, well, it won't be temporary if, 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 I, if I don't get to solve the problem with the solar power. So, in between time, uh, I just put a handle here to make up one from wood. Back in the wood. A little bit of pipe in it. This is just a quick job. I am. I'm, uh, everybody wants me now, and I'm. <laughs> you'll see what I'm doing in one minute. Mm. Oh, that's very crooked. Anyway, record. I didn't get stainless because I don't have a one. Anyway, this is a temporary. It's a number four, I think and uh, i put a washer on each end. You'll see what I'm going to do now in a minute, okay? What's going to happen? I've got a notch, eh? So, I'm going to put a split here on this. tighten this I don't want this swiveling around I was going to make this is a temporary job it's a five minute job to shout at me to go off in the car and get this party party my daughter edge of it definitely be okay but uh, washer sunk in so I'm doing it for a second time now the wider washer here double wash Now let's see. Oh, now it's spinning. So anyway, that's uh, that's part one. That's part two finished. Okay, you won't be, you won't tumble it fast like that. You'll be tumbling it slowly like this. Uh, so this part two is the stand. Now part three, it's going to take a while before I get, get some stuff. I'll be putting some sort of a motor here run by some sort of something coming up here before the solar panel. So uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching uh, part two. And if you have any better ideas or whatever, what you think about it, uh, uh, thank you to Rex here uh, for for doing the video because normally I hold the video camera and work at the same time. Uh, thank you for uh, watching uh, uh, the video. And, and uh, if you if you like it. Uh, Please uh, subscribe uh, uh, to our channel and we'll hopefully make some more new videos on this new channel. The old channel will still be going. I'll probably put this on the old channel all in one. Uh, that's the carpentry channel. But for the gardening channel, uh, I'm leaving this as uh, one. So thank you for watching.